Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the TI Inspire CAS calculator to calculate summary statistics like the mean and standard deviation from a frequency table using groups data. The example that I'll be working with is on the screen now. So the table shows the resting heart rate of a number of adults who go to a doctor's office. This first row shows anyone whose heart rate was between 40 and 50 beats per minute, between 50 and 60, 60 and 70, and so on and so on. Because we're not actually given the information about each individual heartbeat, we need to have some way of estimating or making a guess as to what's going on here. So to do that, we'll use the midpoint. In order to do that, we need to create another column. This column I'll call quite simply the midpoint column. Each of the midpoints is going to be the midpoint of one of the rows of data. So for here, the data going from 40 to 50, I need to figure out what the midpoint is. Halfway between 40 and 50 is 45. And so on. 45 between 50 and 60 is 55, 65, 75, 85, and 95. Again, we don't know for sure that this is what the individual heart rates are, but this is the best guess that we can make with the information that we've been given. On the calculator, I've transferred this information into a spreadsheet. I've created a column, which I've called HR for heart rate, and I've inserted my values 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, and 95. That is all of the midpoints. So I'm just putting the midpoints in here. I'm then going to create a second column, which I'm going to call the frequency, or F-R-E-Q. In that frequency column, I'm going to put the frequencies from the data. So 1, 3, 9, 8, 2, and 3. So there's my data. I've put the frequency table into the CAS. And if we have just a normal frequency table where it's not grouped data, this is all we have to do. Now I want to analyze this. I want to get the mean and the standard deviation. So to do so, I'm going to need to do some summary statistic calculations. Menu, and once again we're going to four statistics, one stat calculations, and one one variable statistics. As we've done before, the number of lists is still one, this is where things will change a little bit. So our x1 list, that's still the variable. So our variable is the heart rate, that's what I'm selecting. The difference between this and just doing normal one variable statistics analysis is the frequency list. Previously we didn't touch frequency list, here we're going to make sure that our frequency list is that column of frequencies, again FREQ. The rest is OK. We'll use column C for our results and press OK. And here you can see all of our statistics. So I've got the mean of the data is 71.15 approximately. And down here we'll use SX as our standard deviation, which for this set of data is 12.67. 